Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about differentiation of natural logs and exponentials, and we're differentiate each function with respect to x. So, if I was given this function, y equals the natural log of negative 4x to the 4th power over x to the 3rd minus 3, and all that's going to be to the 5th power. What I'm going to do first is actually simplify this, okay, uh, using our rules of logarithms, right? 5 can come out front, actually, uh, here, and don't need any exponents. One of the rules is simplifying logarithms. A natural log of, and keep the inside the same, negative 4x to the 4th over x to the 3rd minus 3, okay? From there, okay, now I'm going to take the derivative of that, and um, I find it a little easier. So when I do that, we have dy dx equals, that 5 is a constant that's going to be out front pretty much the whole time, okay, let's we'll leave it out there, and now we're going to take the derivative of this part here. Well, derivative of natural log is 1, uh, natural log of u is 1 over u times u prime. Well, when we're doing 1 over this fraction, essentially we're flipping that fraction, the negative stays out front, and to flip it we have x to the third minus 3, numerator and denominator is 4, x to the fourth. Now we need to multiply that by the derivative of the inside. Well, the derivative of the inside, well, it's a fraction, we need to do the uh, quotient rule. So I'm going to leave that negative just out front here. So let's multiply by a negative. And we have our quotient rule here. The quotient rule has the derivative of the numerator. So derivative of the numerator, 4x to the fourth power is 16x to the third times the denominator, x to the third minus 3 minus the numerator stays the same, 4x to the fourth times the derivative of the denominator, okay? x to the third comes out, well, power rule, we have three x squared here, and we don't need the minus three. All of that is over the denominator squared. Okay, our denominator squared here is just x to the third minus three, all squared. And there we have it, make sure we bring our bracket down, because five gets simplified by all of this. Now, let's simplify this slightly, um, see what we can do, maybe cancel out a little bit. But um, I'm just going to combine it in a fraction, leave the 5 on the outside, and just kind of go from there. So we have dy, uh, I'll rewrite it this time, dy dx equals 5, so I'll say that front. Okay. Now, since we're multiplying these two fractions, we just kind of can combine them. Okay. So our denominator, I'm just going to write to be that, well, 4x to the fourth power times x to the third minus 3 squared. And then, well, Here's the tricky part. We have a negative times a negative, which is just a positive, right? So we kind of can eliminate that right there. Two negatives cancel. So let's we'll just kind of separate this, um, our two parts here. We have x to the third minus 3. Uh, well, look at that, right? We have multiplied, or multiplied these two, x to the third minus 3. We have x to the third minus 3 over here. So essentially, we can simplify that and actually change this to be the first power, right? And we can eliminate that x to the third minus three. So we have that canceled out, which is nice. Then, that's canceled out. We don't need that anymore. We have this 16x to the third up front. Well, 16, right? So we've eliminated this. So can I cancel that out, right? We eliminated that uh, with this part here, right? Being multiplied. And then 16, well, 16x to the third, we have four down here, right? But this one's a little tricky and what we can actually eliminate, right? Because this part isn't really right, we're, we're multiplying it. We were distributing this thing to both, the x to the third minus three to both parts there, so we get eliminate. But here, it doesn't directly go because there's that minus sign there. So actually, there's no simplification really that can go between these two. Here. So we have just, well, 16 x to the third times x to the third minus three. And then here, let's go minus this. Well, let's multiply this out, okay? Four times three is 12. And then x to the fourth times x squared, we have x to the sixth power. And then bring that out front, and there we have it. Our final answer, um, this one. Our final answer here is kind of a large fraction. You probably could simplify a little more if you really wanted to, but I'm fine as it is. It's five times, in our big bracket here, 16 x to the third times x to the third minus three, minus 12 x to the sixth, all over four x to the fourth times x to the third minus three. So let's recap. <clears throat> we y equals natural log of negative 4x to the 4th over x to the 3rd minus 3 to the 5th power. Using our rules of logarithms, we can bring the 5 out front and keep that logarithm just the same both out that exponent. That helps us here when it's definitely taking the derivative. 
five stays out front times derivative really of that uh, natural law because five is a constant we kind of pull out front. Natural law, all right, during that derivative of natural law of u is one over u times u prime. So one over u is the same thing as this fraction, just flipping it around. 4x to 4th is a denominator now, and x to 3rd minus 3 is a numerator. Negative still stays out front, times the derivative of all of that. Negative stayed out front, okay, so multiply times that negative. All right, we use the quotient rule. Numerator times, uh, I'm sorry, derivative of the numerator times the denominator minus the denominator, or numerator times the derivative of the denominator, all over denominator squared. Well, since this was all multiplication, we saw that we could cancel out x to the third minus 3 uh, squared, and this x to the third minus 3 over here, because that was being multiplied these two parts together. Okay, so we can cancel that out. So only actually we can simplify that easily. Negative times a negative, give it a positive. Didn't need anything there. So everything else uh, is pretty straightforward. 4 times 3 was 12, and x to the fourth times x squared was x to the sixth. So our final answer here is uh, 5 times this big bracket, 16x to the third times x to the third minus 3, minus 12x to the sixth, all over uh, 4x to the fourth times x to the third minus 